Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite books right now. Um, these are the books that I'm currently reading and some of them are actually ones I'm going to be reading over the next month so I wanted to share them with you. A couple of books that I absolutely love right now in my library. Wool by Hugh Howie, Shift by Hugh Howie, Crazy for the Storm by Norman Olestad, Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl, and Jason Harvey's Achieve Anything in Just One Year. This is an amazing book and it's about how you can make small daily choices to transform your life and transform your mind. And I honestly believe that by personal experience, um, small changes in your everyday life can lead to huge results. Um, I've made really small changes that people thought were crazy over the years. And because of those changes, I am living my dream. I travel the world every month. Um, I have boyfriend, my, the love of my life, I have a great relationship with my family and my friends, I eat healthy and um, I'm 100% vegan, um, all my vitamins, I don't have any vitamin deficiencies, I'm feeling healthier than I've ever felt in my life at 29 years old, healthier than I was when I was 22, more successful than I could ever even imagine being and it's all because of small tiny successes and tiny you know, accomplishments that have led up to larger and larger goals and um, you know I just, I hold myself accountable for everything. I don't let myself down and that's one of the biggest things that I've learned over the years and that's something that this book reminds me of. So when I picked up this book I wanted to just kind of like get on that success wavelength and um, books help me do that and I know people say oh you know do successful people read, do successful people care about quotes or books or other people's stories and honestly they do um, because it helps you get back on the right mindset because all of us that are trying to be successful are trying to tap into that that wavelength, that mindset and if you like, believe it or not, you could be in the worst mood in the world. You could be, like, falling off the edge of the earth, lost your job, not able to pay your bills, and you could be in the worst mindset ever. But if you read this, it helps adjust you and put you back on the right wavelength. And I really felt that way when I picked this up, and I was like, oh my god, small wins. I forgot about that concept when I picked this up. And I live like that, but it was like something that I had sort of forgotten about. But he mentions in here how these small daily choices help in, you know, make your life overall so much better, no matter what area you're like you're trying to prove, whether it's your diet, your relationships, your work. So I was really impressed when I read this book. Um, um, almost done with it so I didn't technically read this book completely but I just thought this is worth sharing because this will really help you move towards your goals whatever they are and um, they say in the next 10, 15, 20 years almost 50% 50 of the world is going to be freelancers so people are going to be entrepreneurs working on their on their own doing what they love so if you're looking to get a head start I highly recommend checking this book out and seeing what you could achieve in just one year. I finished Wool which was the best sci-fi mystery book I've ever read in my life. It's about a group of people who are living inside a silo underground in post-apocalyptic dystopian future where they have no idea how they got there. All they know is that they live underground, they have day-to-day -day jobs, and everybody lives on different levels depending on what their work is. And people have so many questions, they don't know why they're there. So I highly recommend it. I swear to you, no matter who you are or what kind of books you love, you will love that book. I'm also starting to read Shift, which is the second book in the series. That's about, like, I guess the pre-story to Wool. Um, also reading Crazy for the Storm. It's a true memoir. I just started reading it, like, the other day. And I'm in love with this book. I'm on, like, 50 pages in right now. And it's amazing. Um, about a boy and at 11 years old who's flying to Big Bear in California from his house in Malibu. Um, and the plane crashed. And he uh, was, like, I think, like, either the sole survivor or one of the only survivors. And this is his story of survival and what got him to keep moving on. Um, through loss and stuff like that, and trauma, um, overcoming intense fears. So I have fears of my own. I've been through my own, you know, natural disaster traumas, and um, I'm always inspired by people who overcome fear and continue to move on. Because for me, it's always been like I get almost like PTSD if something crazy happens, like almost drowning or being in rock avalanche, like that type of stuff makes me very apprehensive when I go hiking or do things, so I don't want to be inhibited by my fears. I want to learn from people who experience these things and still find the, the reason to move forward and keep exploring. So I thought this book would inspire me, and so far it really has, and I already feel excited to go out and, you know, try new things and experience more. Um, Man's Search for Meaning by Victor, Victor E. Frankel was recommended by a ton of people. I haven't started to read it yet, but I heard such great things I had to get it. Um, those are my books. Those are everything that I'm reading right now. So if you guys have any books or success stories or anything like that, or success books, motivation books, 
um, science fiction novels, mystery novels, or anything along those lines, I would love to check it out. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!